beneficial mutation. You know, we define a beneficial mutation as a mutation that provides a benefit to the organism. In other words, I'm now resistant to the antibiotic, mm -hmm. which is beneficial if that antibiotic's around. You know, okay. Uh, as a human, I like to drink milk. Okay, I have a mutation in me that allows me to drink milk. It's a mutation. Always oh, to, right. To, to me, okay. it's beneficial. You know, but it's still a mutation. So if you look just at beneficial mutations, which is what evolutionists love to look at, beneficial, 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 and I say, but that's really irrelevant. What's happening at the genetic level? That's the key. It's not whether it's beneficial or not beneficial, it's what's happening genetically. And what we see, for example, with antibiotic resistance. Antibiotic resistance comes by one of two ways, for the most part. You have a vector come into the organism, which is bringing in some kind of gene that makes it resistant. Okay, well, that vector already exists. You're not introducing anything new into biology. It's already there. So that doesn't account for the origin of anything. It just counts for how it moves around. Okay? The key thing then becomes mutations. That's why, that's why evolution is mutation and natural selection. Because if you do change the sequence, that has the potential to give you a whole new genetic component, a whole new genetic mm -hmm. activity. Mm -hmm. But when we look at mutations that cause antibiotic resistance in bacteria, what they are is mutations that eliminate transport proteins, eliminate enzyme activities, eliminate functionality of certain proteins, eliminate, eliminate, reduce, cut down, eliminate. See, is there a trend here? 